What's up, everyone, and welcome to the second ever episode of Falcons in Focus. The first with Falcons in Focus as the actual name. Right. We <laughs> finally come up with one, and our guest, you know who this is. It's Kyle Pitts. He's a really good tight end who plays in the NFL for the Atlanta Falcons. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you've ever heard of Thank that. You, sir. Uh, so welcome. Thank you. Uh, Thank and you it's just crazy. Uh, when Tori and I were kind of writing some things down, we were thinking about Oh, that's Troy McElhaney. Yeah, and that's I'm me. Scott Hi, there. everyone. I should introduce yeah. myself. Uh, and that's we, okay. like, we were thinking about that you're barely old enough to drink, already been to a <laughs> Pro Bowl, and starting year two, we were like, so, so the first question is this, entering your second year, how are you wiser and more <laughs> mature and more worldly entering your second season? Uh, worldly, that's, I like that one. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, I would say because I hang around older people who are already wise. Uh-huh. More wiser than me, <laughs> so it kind of helps me being like you know younger. Always, my dad always had me hanging around like the older kids playing in like an older, like what is it? Like age older group? group? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Group? yeah. Yeah, so I always played like a year up or something like that. Mm-hmm. So I always was getting banged around, and uh-huh. but it was it, you know it worked in the, in the end. But I always kind of learned maturity early, at an early age, kind of. It was funny because we were talking to Arthur not too long ago, and he Arthur Smith for those that aren't on a first name basis with him i'm also not on a first name basis i don't know why i'm calling him arthur but he was talking and he was like i forget that like kyle and drake are so young he was like you look at them and they're so tall and so big but they're just so young and he was like a lot of times i make references and i don't think they understand them and i'm not gonna lie when i'm in press (laughs) conferences with him i i do give him the pity laugh where i'm like ha 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 yeah i got it are there any references that he's made where you're just like dude i have no earthly idea what you're talking about Definitely the war stories. Really? <laughs> <laughs> because I wasn't, you know, brought up on much like military. Uh-huh. So it was like Sun, like Sun Tzu. Uh-huh. That was a big one. He, he, you know, he used the reference, and I was like, Who is this? It's, it's <laughs> controversial to me. You know? <laughs> but you know, it's it's, it's been working. Mm-hmm. The, the Navy SEALs, obviously, all mm-hmm. of what it is. And, mm-hmm. You know, he used references from that, so I, I understand that. But some of the other jokes are like. You know, riddles, I'm far. It's, like, it's <laughs> over my head. Immediately gone. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, on to your second favorite sport, I assume, and that's the game of golf, sport of golf that you've taken up fairly, fairly recently. I guess just before we get into all of it, kind of give us some background about why you picked it up, how you picked it up, that type of thing. Well, I picked it up during, like, when I was training for the combine. Mm-hmm. So that was I was out in California. And you would train six six to seven, sitting about an hour, mm-hmm. and then you had to day to yourself. Or you'd do like, you know, your body stuff, but you mainly had a day to yourself. So then me and my trainer, we would just go to the range, and I was out there, it was bad. Yeah. But, it, but it was like, the, for every nine that you miss, uh-huh. the 10th one you hit, you're like, okay, I can do this. Uh-huh. And then you miss the next nine, <laughs> the 10th one. Uh, nah, and then it just, uh, competing, then I start like friendly, friendly betting. Like you owe me push-ups, and who can hit it farther? And we both couldn't hit it far. <laughs> and yeah, I got strong that day. But um, <laughs> then I was like, okay, I, I, I think I can take this a little serious. And then, and I came to Atlanta. Um, I got a set, mm-hmm. and then started hitting them a little bit, but not really during the season. Then d- jumped into it in January after the season with some with some lessons. Nice. And then it kind of took off, and now there's a. Kyle Pitts charity golf tournament and it you're is. playing with so tell me I guess being able to to do that and I don't know if you've ever played with a, a famous person out, outside of your sport have you gotten to meet any cool people and doing this charity golf tournament like what does that meant to kind of help out other people and play this game that you're so into I would say I kind of had a kind of conservative this year just to make sure everybody had as much fun as they could uh-huh. so I had like I didn't even have over 10 foursomes so oh, I had yeah. like 10 foursomes and then I just you know everybody got prizes and things like that next year I'm gonna have uh, Chris Tucker come Ooh, <laughs> all right I, I'm, I'm trying to put together some people <laughs> but uh yeah no it was a good time everybody had a good time uh like I said everybody got prizes and you know at the end it just was a bunch of laughing you know you know I had to win oh uh, <laughs> for sure I mean we well we watched um you so our video team put together a ver- very fun very awesome video with you and your dad y'all went and played nine holes of golf at Chateau Alain and I actually don't my question's not really about golf at all it's about the first minute of that <laughs> no. that whole episode. <laughs> okay. I need to know if y'all haven't watched it. There's this segment where Kyle is like really freaked out about the birds 
that are on the golf course. And I need to know, is it like, as someone who also has a weird thing with birds, I don't like birds. Um, is it all birds that you're freaked out by? Or is it just those specific birds on like, what, the fifth hole? I, don't, I think it's, I'm, I'm, I'm about an inch from a phobia. Yeah, it's real close. Yeah, like geese. Woo. Okay, I'm glad you said geese. There was, when I was They're six so years old, mean. When I was holding a fry. I was at a picnic with my grandparents. The goose came from over my right shoulder and just went. <laughs> I thought it, I was going to die. It took a funnel cake of mine when I was on the boardwalk. A funnel cake? I let it, no, that was a seagull, sorry. Uh, that was a seagull. Close enough. Yeah, seagulls get me. I don't even know what those birds are called on that course. They're scary they, looking. They're I was like, there. They frightened me. They're like a mixture of turkey and duck. Right. If you see the face, <laughs> if you see the face. Yeah. Yeah. I tried to look it up. I still haven't found it yet. No. But, and they think, you know, they're so like, uh, what's the word? They're so like Domesticated. Yeah. When you, when, when you stop your cart, they think you're giving them bread. And it's like, mm-hmm. nah, man. And they, they, they almost do a little nice little waddle. <laughs> and they are and afraid of nothing. Nothing. You shoo them away and they go an inch. Or if you got to throw something or, you know, to get him away. But me, I'm, I'm walking. To yeah, yeah, hole. yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't do well with those birds. <laughs> Not. We're team no birds here. Yeah, yeah team no birds. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> For you. Now, something that I've recently saw on your Instagram that I think is really awesome. You've been doing a lot of um, photo shoots with um, some photographers and you actually recently did, I think it was you were recreating Allen Iverson's mm-hmm. SI cover. See, everybody know what that was. They uh, thought I was just trying to be a little freaky. So what a- to <laughs> no, I was trying to tell them it's a recreation. Yeah, so, so someone texted me and they were like, is he going to be on The Bachelor? That was like the <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, wow. I was like, no, I don't I don't think so. I was like, I think it's pretty, I think it's Allen Iverson. But He's not going to give out all of those roses? Right, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. yeah no, no, no. And so I, I, my question to you is like, is that that something that you are passionate about like photography or is that something that you fell into not at all really <laughs> I, I actually like the whole time we were shooting i just be feeling like i look cockeyed sometimes because like you look in the camera and you don't really know what you're looking right. at. right yeah so it's like what would my eyes look like <laughs> when they take when this picture out. right but i mean i don't mind taking pictures um it's a fun time yeah was alan iverson someone who you kind of looked up to when you were younger or, 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 cause you know, I feel like in Philly, he was probably kind of like same level as what Michael definitely, Vick was here in Atlanta. I, I had his shoes and all. You did. I couldn't play a lick worth of basketball. But okay, sure. I love his. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm serious. Really? I'm, yeah. What was your thing? Stand up pretty early. I, I mean, I was obviously physical enough to, yeah. you know, make it to about eighth grade, and then when everybody started to get tall, uh-huh. that's where I capped off, oh. and then it just was too much, and I just lost interest for. I don't really like uh-huh. basketball yet. Mm-hmm. Also. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. But, so you did have his shoes and stuff? Mm-hmm. That's cool. That's cool. I, I always like hearing about athletes that have other athletes that they follow that aren't in their sport. Do you have other people that you're particularly interested in that maybe even play right now? LeBron. Oh, for yeah. sure. LeBron. For sure. That's, that's probably the only human outside of, like, LeBron and maybe, like, Maxwell mm-hmm. that I would, like, fantasize, like, like, Get yeah, yeah, yeah. feels like way. starstruck if you yeah, saw him. Yeah, yeah, no, no other like real yeah. stars yeah. kind of. They like uh, we all the same. Yeah, yeah. Well, so in some of those photos, you can obviously see that they can obviously see that you have a lot of artwork done, right? Um, I guess kind of what inspired you to start that, and do you have like a favorite or something that like really means mm. something to you? I would say I started getting tattoos my soft. In, end of my freshman summer, so sophomore year. Okay. So I, you know, got to my freshman year, and I got my first one, and I was like, and looking on Instagram, and I was like, I'm old enough, I'm out the house. <laughs> I mean, so cool. Yeah, so I got, I got my little weekly COA check, um, <laughs> and I just was looking for ideas, and the first, my first one actually is my favorite one. It's like, it's a time glass with a football in it, and then Proverbs 3-5 with my birthday to the top. And it's just like, you know, your time is your time. And you know, trust trust in him. That's that's what Proverbs three five is. And then the time glass is just, you know, your time is your time. And then the football behind it, obviously, you know, football you gotta take your time and run your race, run your race. Don't worry about anybody else's success. You know, yours will come when it does. But you know, worry about yourself. Are they like reminders? 
at times? Yeah, m- uh, definitely my my forearm ones, like all the ones that I can see. Uh-huh. Um, I, I I do look at them a lot actually, because yeah. I almost forget I have tattoos. Like <laughs> it's like, no. yeah. it's like, well, you, if it's other people look at them, yeah. sometimes right. you don't look at yourself. Definitely. Like, yeah. Oh, that, I forgot I had this. Yeah. Um, for you, I was actually going when we were prepping for this interview. We were actually going back and reading some other stuff, and our friend Chris Rim, who now works for the New York Times, Chris, if you're watching this, what up, bro? Um, he <laughs> wrote a story about you, like right when you first got here, and one it has one of the best quotes and i'm gonna I just read love it. it it's love one of it the so best much. quotes i feel like i laugh at every time but you were talking about <laughs> your life and how it's a <laughs> you said i kind of live an uninteresting life i like to chill listen to jazz kick my feet up <laughs> is that like for real for real who you are like 100 percent. pretty just chill and just throw in play golf now yeah <laughs> just like, add the caveat yeah but relaxing and like just I like to just sit down, I like to just <laughs> sit down and like listen to some good music and just relax. Yeah, it's just you know get get away from everybody. I don't really like a lot of people in my house. Yeah, yeah. I just sit on the porch or sit by the pool and relax. I'm good for the day. I'm yeah. good. I don't really. I don't always want to be around a bunch of people. I don't always want to. I hate the beach actually. You don't like the beach. I don't like the beach. Uh, are you I don't like, like the sand in no my sand. toes? <laughs> <laughs> the sand in my toes always get me because I wear flip flops on it and it just yeah. Yeah. Uncomfy. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was funny because we were talk. Chris was talking about like you listen to gospel music, jazz music, and Scott was like, "That's maybe a little unusual for a guy at 21." And I was like, "Hey, man, whatever you got to do, you got to do. Do you still listen to, to that type of music a little bit?" B- yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got some jazz, blues, all of that. I, that's what on like a Tuesday. If, if like if it's warm and stuff, mm-hmm. and I can sit by the pool or sit on sit on like the patio, I just you know turn on the speakers and just relax, like because that's the only day we got off you know during the week right. before we got to reset for the new week. But mm-hmm. mainly just relax and just listening to it. The saxophone really is what mellows me out. Oh, I yeah. love a sax. Yeah, so good. It just puts you in a whole different like mindset. Yeah, it make you really cool. want to think you can play some instruments, but uh-huh. you can't. I and can't, then you go I try can't it. Read, I can't read music. No, mind. you know Dean Pease can. Really? Yeah, he like uh, that was something that I talked to him about not too long ago. He was talking about how he reads music, creates music, and he actually wrote music like for his daughter's wedding. Oh wow! And I'm like, that's intense. Yeah. I wish I could do that. Did you fail the recorder test? <laughs> the the one yeah, that, where the you got a little one. plastic thing. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. That one. Uh-huh. I got. To, we did not belts good. like the karaoke or not karaoke the karate belts, and I only got to like. What it was like yellow, which is like one above white. I did horrible. I couldn't play anything. Dang. How wow. did you do? Not good. Yeah. No, didn't yeah. even. Get I even it. tried to like finesse it. it didn't work. <laughs> like, you if you can't read music, you can't read music. No, it's it's impossible. But the question is, can you sing though? Who? You. Can you sing? Can I sing? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> it's not a good situation for anyone involved, because you all got to sing those rookie. Oh, in front of the I mean, group songs. Some say you didn't go like fight song or anything, right? Some went, say I could, you know, put a bird to sleep. <laughs> wow! Okay. Wow! Soft. Soft and, and sweet. A slow mellow. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the like the gospel and the jazz music. Yeah. That's yeah. Just just mellow. Yeah. That's I about love, right. I love that. Oh my goodness gracious! We've I can hardly so even much. contain myself here. I, okay, I I know we're wrapping up here. Yes. Um, Lee Smith is one of my favorite humans on this planet, so I can't get away <laughs> with true. it's this true. It's true. I, I've known him forever. Uh, I used to cover him when he was in Oakland, so okay. I've I've known him for a long time. So I have to ask you about one of my favorite people, Lee Smith. Uh, <laughs> you guys don't seem like you would automatically be best friends. He's an older <laughs> dude with a giant beard and kids, and the, he always kind of talked about you as in you got to meet his family. I I think and. Oh, yeah. I, I guess I know it's, you know, I think as you put it once, well, yeah, old head and young guy, you know, but it's like. <laughs> he said dinosaur. Dinosaur. Yeah. yeah he was dinosaur. Definitely a dinosaur. Dinosaur. Right. He was so, definitely a dinosaur. But why'd you guys click in that way? I mean, he, he he said that you were allowed to babysit his kids. Yeah. I, w- I, I don't remember that part. <laughs> but um, just he, like he I. He probably just told Scott and I that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was a new one. But uh, <laughs> nah, uh, Lee, just like I said earlier, um, just hanging around older guys, like. He's been in the league for a long time. He's seen yeah. a lot from the ups and the downs to winning to losing to off the field to how do you maneuver, just things like that. I used to always just pick his brain. Like, 
how do you sustain? Like, mm-hmm. how do you keep a level head for these many years and, you know, still perform at a high level? Because he was 12 years older than me mm-hmm. running the routes just like I was. Maybe, you know, not the longer ones. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's like, hard. like the, the intermediate ones, he, he could run, you know, he could run them. And it's like, how are you this old running like that? So it's like, <laughs> now I have to mentally be better. Like, how can I, you know, beat you mentally? And he was just telling me, he just told me a lot of gems mm-hmm. on, you know, how to win. And I used to, you know, Lee and Hayden, mm-hmm. great old heads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we really love all of our conversations that we ever had with Lee. He, we, I mean, I respect mean, the heck out of him. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, last portion. Yes, we're going to wrap fire, up. Rapid fire, super yes. quick. Yes, it's Everybody a game. Everybody gets the same questions. Yes, okay. it's a game that we play at the end of every single episode. Okay. And are you ready? I'm ready. You ready? Okay. Favorite play as a Falcon? My own touchdown. <laughs> that's, that's not a, on U.S. soil. Wait. Did you know that? Yeah. The one that's in <laughs> London, not the Pro Bowl one. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. No, that, no, that one counts. You, wait, hold on. Before, do you count the Pro Bowl touchdown? Yeah, probably. In like your first touchdown on uh, like no. U.S. soil in the I league. I mean, jokingly. Jokingly, jokingly yes. sure. But, but seriously, no, that didn't no. okay. Just okay. making sure. <laughs> the last movie that you saw. Django. Mm. Good one. Um, fave restaurant ever. Favorite restaurant. That's hard. I know. No, right? it's it totally stumped Grady too, and then Grady listed like a hundred. Yeah, when we were talking to Grady, he just went through like seven different Atlanta restaurants. I'm going to just go with Mastro's. Okay. Out west. Ooh, okay. I can dig that. Yeah. Man. The Falcon you spend the most time with. <laughs> I think we know this one. What are you thinking? We I, thought it was Felipe. I was just Felipe. about to say yeah. Felipe. <laughs> <laughs> Felipe, Frank, and Jalen. <laughs> and Jalen Mayfield. And finally, what is your pet peeve? There's a lot of them. <laughs> uh, I hate when people ask me, like, no, no, I'm not good <laughs> What's another one? When you're a pet peeve of mine now that I feel like I've just, you know, it's grown on me is while I'm eating at a restaurant, someone like walks up and they just stand there. Oh, and don't yeah. say anything. And they just like want to ask you a question. Right. But don't. And oh, then yes. just walk away. <laughs> like this yeah, is awkward. Weird. All right. As someone who I feel like I just like radiate awkward energy, at <laughs> least <laughs> say something. Yeah, or or someone like, you no. Know, I'm going to take that back. Oh, okay. right, number one pet peeve <laughs> number is when one. somebody sneak a picture and keep oh, walking. Oh, like does like like this? Like yeah, this. like they walk. I caught one dude. I'm like, boy, you funny. <laughs> <laughs> so I just seen it. He laughed. All right. Well, we'll we're going to end it on this. Everybody taking quick, awkward photos right, everybody Kyle here in the podcast. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Kyle, so much for joining us. Thank you, guys. Great review. Subscribe, all that fun stuff. Falcons of Focus. Talk to you next week. Bye, everybody.